In a study of government financial aid for college students, it becomes necessary to estimate the percentage of full-time college students who earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. So find the sample size needed to estimate that percentage. So in this problem, we are looking for n. We have to find the sample size. So we're looking for the sample size needed um, to estimate a percentage. It says use a 0.05 margin of error. Okay, so the margin of error, the symbol for that is E, 0.05. And what this is, is it's half of the width of your confidence interval. So after you find E, if you ever see margin of error in a problem, just immediately multiply it by 2. And that gives you the width of the confidence interval. So the question is saying, use a confidence interval with width 0.1. So when it says margin of error 0.05, it's basically giving you the width of the confidence interval. So use a confidence interval with this width and a level of 99%. So again, the question is asking for how many people need to be sampled in order to create a confidence interval that is 99% and is this wide. So that's really what, what we need. So we're looking for n. So we can do this with, with the software. It says, assume that nothing is known about the percentage to be estimated. Okay, so that's going to come up in a minute. So we go to StatCrunch. We need to detach it so we can see it. And then you go to stat, proportions, because we're talking about proportions. It's still one sample because we only have one end. And then we're given the width, and we're looking for the sample size. So it's width sample size, okay? So width sample size. I'm gonna click it, and you get this funky looking diagram here. So the level is 99%, so I'm gonna change that first. The width in this case is 0 0.10. It's always twice the margin of error. And the target proportion, well, the target proportion, I'm going to write it here, target proportion. The target proportion is what we expect. If you remember in the question, it said to, I think it said to expect nothing. Let's look. Whoops. Uh-oh. I'm going to scoot it down again. Uh, let's see if I can move this. Hmm. There we go. So it says, assume that nothing is known about the percentage to be estimated. Right. So we have to assume that there's a 50-50 chance either way for whatever it is we're talking about. So in this case, we're talking about uh, the percentage of college students who earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. So we have to assume it's 0.5. So we assume nothing. So we leave it at 50-50. So again, it's stat proportions one sample with sample size. We change the level to, I believe the level was 90, 9. Leave the target proportion alone. No info was given. Uh, and then the width is 0.1. Click Compute, and there's the answer, 664. So this is how many people need to be surveyed in order to construct a 99% confidence interval that has a width of 0.1. So 664, let's try it. Yes, perfect. Assume prior studies have shown that about 45% of full-time students earn bachelor's degrees. Okay, so now for the next part, what they're doing is they're giving us the target proportion, right? They're telling us that the target proportion, target prop is 0.45. That's what we expect. So now we have to change that. That's the only difference. So we go to StatCrunch. And then we go to Stat Proportions, one sample, and again, with sample size. Okay. And then we just enter the level, which was 99. We change the target proportion this time to 0.45. And the width is still 0.1. Just make sure everything looks good. You click Compute. There's the answer, 657. So the answer in this case is 657. Whoops. 657. 657. Check answer. Does the added knowledge have much of an effect on the sample size? No, absolutely not. Um, I would say no. 
uh, it doesn't even reduce it. It says it says only slightly re yeah, it'd be this one. The additional survey information only slightly reduces the sample size. It does reduce it, but slightly. So let's try that one. And that's it. So again, recap. You see a question like this where it's asking for n. The most important thing is that you look in the problem and you look for what's called the margin of error. The margin of error is basically half the width. So to get the width, you always multiply it by 2, always. So once you have the width and the confidence lo level, all you do is you go to stat crunch and you go to, let me do it one more time, stat crunch, and you go to stat, proportions, one sample, width sample size, plug in your level. For the first part, we left the target proportion alone. So we had 0.1. Boom, there was the answer. For the second part, we had to change the target proportion to 0.45. Boom, there's the answer. I hope that made sense.